Hello there, YouTube. It's me, Toriano from Toriano Edits, and I'm gonna show you how to use Radio Blur in After Effects. So basically, all I'm gonna do is show you how to uh, use Radio Blur and where you need to put it at in um, After Effects, or at least how I put it in my edits. So, for example, or well basically, I'm gonna start on that example. I'm gonna start on the edit, basically. So what you want to do is find a spot where he shoots the um the enemy at. So let's go ahead a couple frames. Let's see. Right here I use Twixter right here. I use uh Magic Boy looks and curve for the color correction. So now basically I found where I wanted to put it at. So about right here. Save it about right here then. <clears throat> So you're trying to do is go ahead and click on your clip. So let's make sure it's highlighted and everything. Go to your effects, blur, and go down to radio blur. This will, this will give you a little haze looking radio blur basically. What you want to do now is go back one keyframe. You want to go ahead and uh, keep the key uh, keyframe for the amount, center, type, and for the anti-aliasing, and put the amount to the zero. Go ahead to one keyframe, or where you want to actually want to have a shot, um, like one has a radio blur kick in at. For me, it's about like one keyframe ahead. Click, I'll put mine about say 25 because I want to have a lot of it actually. So now what you want to do is go about six keyframes ahead. It's about here. Or oh, go back a little bit. It's about here. No, one more actually. <laughs> Sorry. Right here. Put it to about say ten. Go about three keyframes. Put about three. Go about one or two. I put about two. Put it to zero. Now, so how that will look right now will be let's see. Put it to right here. I'm going to go up to render so I'll show you how it will look. Let's see. Because, like, it's, it's hard to look, uh, basically a few, a couple kills in this clip right here. It's like I cut the clip, so. It's going to look a little different. Alright, so I, uh. So there it is right there. You can have it. You also have it so it makes it longer. Put by pressing U on the clip. What you would do in this spot. Hold on. Alright, yeah. So about. Yeah, so what you want to do is just basically zoom in on here, so make sure you get all the keyframes. Alright, yep. There you go, over one, two, three, right here. There you go. I was like, hold on, what's happening? <laughs> so right here, it's where it's normal. Right here, where it starts at. So now you just basically just drag these over a little bit. So now let's go ahead and. Render from beginning a little bit more of a beginning. And remember, beginning of this clip, I use Twixter. I put this about 10 seconds, and then I basically just resume it back to 100 after a shot. See right there. And that's basically how you use radio blur and after effects. So thanks for watching. Please um, like, comment, and subscribe.